Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a week haul from Sheen. Just an FYI, I will be trying on about five, four or five wigs and then one clip on ponytail. There's, some of them have fringes, the ones that don't are lace front wigs. I have a 100% human hair wig in this one too. And I have that ponytail clip on. I don't think a lot of people realize that you can actually get wigs from Sheen. They probably just thought it was all clothes and are looking for cheap wigs. So here's an option. People knew wigs were on Sheen before, but the thing is only recently in the last couple of months have they started doing lace front wigs before it was just kind of your costumey wigs so the second i saw they started doing lace front wigs i was like oh my god so i was kept my eyes on a few and i kept selling out i was like oh can i really spend 200 bucks on wigs right now not per wig but on a whole bundle for this video and i thought oh better not and then they started doing human hair wigs lace front human hair wigs and then everything started selling out so i thought all right just back the bullet got a bunch of wigs one human hair wig, all the rest is synthetic, and I'm ready to try them on this video and show you. I'm not gonna style them, just an FYI. I'm not gonna, I've got a wig cap, it's all raggedy. I'm not gonna braid my hair because I've got a party to go to soon. It's Halloween as I'm filming this. And even if I braid my hair for a minute, it will leave the crimp for the rest of the night. So I'm just gonna tuck it up, put my ratty wig cap on, stick the wigs on, no glue, no plaque in there, anything, just to show you the wigs, just on without any help let them speak for themselves so i know there's a couple controversies on sheen i touched on that in my outro but for this video i'm not trying to talk about that i'm just trying to tell you to those people that really want wigs human hair and synthetic but can't afford to spend that much money on them i want to let you know that sheen is an option they have super cheap wigs for the best quality wigs i've seen so i'm going to get into this video here is the bag it came in i didn't order anything else from sheen this whole bag is all wigs so we're gonna do a lucky dip and get into it so the first wig comes in this they did come in these little bags and then they came in these wig nets and then it came with like a little bit of cardboard just to help the wig keep its structure but when i took all the wigs out the packaging to have a look at them before this video i just threw the cardboard away i didn't think it was really necessary but anyway in this video i'm going to show you a photo of the wig how it was advertised on sheen its cost name of the wig i guess and then show you how it looks on me just so you can see if you're getting catfished or not We have this wig. It's blonde. It's got bangs, just like curtain open bangs, and it's layered is the best way to describe it. It's shorter here, longer here. It's blonde, and then it's got that ombre top, which is always nice because a lot of the time you forget to dye your roots when you have lighter hair. Or not even that. This is this looks like it's kept. It's just a more balayage look rather than just blonde to blonde. It does look a little bit shiny in this light in. I'll insert a video I took of all the wigs in just normal sunlight during the day. This is a ring light so it's already a little bit shinier than it was normally. So the videos in daylight, trust those. Don't trust how it looks right now. But even so, it doesn't look that bad. It just kind of looks like healthy hair. So that's the inside of the wig with all the wefts, the little tightening band there. It's not a lace front, obviously, because it's got the fringe. You don't really need the lace front for a fringe. That's the pattern there. It's only small because, again, fringes, that's the amount of pattern you see. It's really thick and sturdy. Again, it's not lace. This is a lot like the wigs I got from Be Dazzle Boutique, the L front wig, where it's kind of just like rubber, which I think looks a lot more realistic. That looks like a scalp for me. So anyway, I'm going to pop this wig on and see what we think. My wig cap is so bad. I did have some more that came with my wigs in the other video, but my sister's borrowing them tonight. I look like a Karen. <laughs> in the photo, she looks like a beautiful fringed model. That's my pardon. Is it there? Is it there? Is that it? I don't think I'm doing this right. Let me just, let me just have another look. If I keep my finger on the parting, when I put it on, I will make sure it's centered. That's, that's how it should look apparently. 
So again, in normal light, this wig looked really realistic. Right now, it looks a bit like a costume wig. So that's what it looks like from behind. I'm also in a computer chair right now, so sorry. It's quite a short wig. <laughs> I just hit my funny bone. Anyway, it's not really what I thought it was going to be. I don't know, I think it's very pretty and I think it's a realistic hairstyle if that makes sense. I could definitely see an actress with this kind of look. It's not exactly what I thought it would look like. I think in daylight, hold on. Let me, let me turn my ring light off for one second. It's nighttime now, but hopefully there's a bit of sun left. So I'm just in front of my window now, the ring light turned off. This is it in natural sunlight, the sun is setting. So I have like two minutes left of sunlight, so I won't be able to show you all the wigs in natural light, but I thought it was important to show you this one because already how much, already how much better does that look than in the ring light? It looks a lot more realistic. I, I do like the fringe, I like the curtain bangs, this is what I tried to do with my hair and ruined it, so I do like it. I wasn't sure about it before in the ring light, but looking at it right now, I absolutely love it. It's realistic, it's fun, it's sexy, it's easy to install because it's not a lace front, you just whack it on. I think it's really, really nice. Again, that's it from behind, but a natural light now. I love it. What can I say? It's... It's a bit short than what I thought it would be, but I really like it. I would give it a 10 out of 10, probably. Actually, probably a 9 out of 10, just because I'm having a little bit trouble separating this fringe, but it's, it's a really nice high quality wig and I would recommend it, so 9 out of 10. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off and go into the next wig. Anyway, next is this wig. <laughs> it's the same sort of curtain bangs, except it's blonde from root to end. Again, not a lace front. You can see that rubbery scalp, very realistic. It's a longer scalp this time though, because it's a shorter fringe. It's got these lovely, bouncy, gorgeous curls already in it. Comparing it to the last wig, you can see this was more gold. This is more white based hair, silver. It's warmer, cooler. <laughs> this is layered. This is all one length. This is just like a blowout layered look. This is actually bouncy curls. They're both beautiful wigs. I'm going to try this one on. It also has the same insides, just an FYI. Already this wig looks super realistic in terms of colour. Alright, so, not as, like don't get me wrong, the shine levels are really nice, they're not too shiny, so it looks super realistic. Sorry, I can't get comfortable. <laughs> it does look realistic in terms of shine. It's just, I think because the other one had darker roots, it looked a bit more realistic. Whereas this one is kind of one color all the way along. So it's not, I don't know. It's not really screaming real for me. I'm also not in love with this fringe. The last one was like 90% fringe. To me, this is just a little curtain fringe. So I think I would want to, I think I maybe want to do something to style this wig, I reckon. Just make it look a bit more realistic, maybe something like that. It's very Princess Aurora, you know, Sleeping Beauty. I think for an Aurora costume, this would be perfect. I think for, I think for everyday wear, this is still a really nice wig. It's just, it does have those big, beautiful princess curls. You're fine, don't be dramatic, fine. This is what it looks like from behind. 
I hope it looks nice. I can't see. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's beautiful for one. I love it. I think for the price, I didn't expect it to have these beautiful, oh, these beautiful curls in it. So I'm really impressed. It looks super realistic. The shine is nothing like a costume wig it looks like a high quality wig again i'm not in love with these bangs but i don't really think that's the wig i think that's kind of my style can't really style it behind your ear because you can see that mate i reckon this wig would be a wig you have a little bandana over there and then you have this out and i think that would look so beautiful i love it I don't love it as much as the last one, but I do think it is still a really nice week and for the price, I reckon, I reckon I'd give it a 8 out of 10. It's really nice and I love it. It's just the other one I just fell in love with. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next week. I'm trying to keep this video as short and sweet as I can. Sun's setting, I've got a party to go to and I haven't finished my first drink. Next, we have this week. I should also mention the first two wigs did not have a tag on it, but this one does. So are they all from the same brand or did Sheen buy different brands and just put their name on it? Anyway, last blonde wig of the haul. dark roots not as dark as the other one to me this was more of like a balayage this one looks more cool tone warm tone cool tone this is the first week this is the third one it looks a lot more realistic than this one so it's definitely the longest wig it does have layers which i think makes more realistic than just dead straight but it's nothing too crazy it's definitely a lot warmer as you can see it has like random white hairs you probably can't notice on here but it's a very white wig even though the other two wigs didn't have a tag this one does that's all it says on it it's just the item code so interesting this one is actually a lace front so not like the other two this one's a lace that's what the inside looks like you've got your two clips there and your tightening band and it's actually a full frontal so the lace is all the way around and that's the part in there. That's proper lace, that's beautiful. And I'll show you, I'm no wig expert, but I think it's pre-plucked. I don't know why I said it like that, I think it's pre-plucked. But as you can see, that looks amazing. Like it's, it's got those little baby hairs already out and I think that's what pre-plucked means. But definitely the most realistic wig so far. That is because it's a lace front. The other ones look realistic in terms of style, cut, and shininess. But this one's most realistic in terms of the parting. So I'm going to put this on. And I know I always have so many blonde wigs in my hauls. But that's because I have dark hair. And I'm too scared to try light hair. So that's the situation. That's what it looks like. I'm going to fold it up just for now because I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I'm about to go out. So I don't want it to take off my makeup, but I'll talk about the actual wig itself and then I'll go into the parting. All right, that looks crazy. I have to put this down. So because the parting's so light and you can see the, that, I would definitely need to conceal that and hide it. But look how realistic that looks. Once you cut the lace, I don't think you'll be able to tell I'm wearing a wig. So that's just up for the now, just to protect my makeup. That's the wig. It's, it's a little, a little shiny, but nothing too crazy. Not like costume wig. That's it from behind. It's, it's just a standard wig. It's a bit pale for me if I was gonna go blonde. I would definitely go a warmer tone. It's super soft, like it's really soft hair. It's got all my baby hairs here, which I would style. Put the lace down carefully like that. 
This looks so realistic. I am honestly so shocked by this. I did not expect this quality from Sheen. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks really, really amazing. Even this coloring job with the browns and the blondes and the actual highlights, lowlights, whatever the technical terms are, it just looks so realistic. And because there's lace all the way around the sides, you can glue that down and have it tucked behind your ear. You can style it. It's, it's amazing. I am so shocked with this quality. I just, wow. 10 out of 10. I'm more impressed by this part than I am even by this. Like this looks great. And it's very light. I think it's, this is a thin, thin head of hair. There's not a lot there. So it's a very light wig. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a wig. wig. This feels like my hair. So it's realistic. I, I love this. It's Halloween tonight and I want to wear it. I'm gonna go as Regina George now. I don't care what my costume was. I'm, I'm going as that. But yeah, I better take this off because I got one more wig to show you and one other hair piece and the sun's gone. It's set. I'm, I'm out of time. I gotta go. All right, this is the last official wig and then I've got a clip on Frankie Tell I wanna show you. Same packaging, the little seal. The seal was slightly different. The other ones were like a Ziploc bag. This one's a pull it along and zip. It also came with foam, the other ones came with cardboard and the foam was actually inside the wig to keep it shape. Came in the hairnet. And the only difference with this one is this is 100% human hair. So like the last wig, it has a tag, but it's a completely different brand. It doesn't have a brand on it, but it's got a tag and Taylor shows email address. So hit Taylor up, but 100% human hair. The tag says it. That's what the inside looks like. It's got your clips. It's got the tightening band at the bottom. It's lace front just there. It's not a full frontal, so you won't be able to tuck it behind the hairs really. That's what the lace looks like. This was the cheapest human hair wig I've ever seen, honestly. And I know it's a bit short, but I really got it because I wanted to curl it out like that. And I just thought this length is perfect. And it's human hair. Like, how am I gonna pass up a human hair wig for the price I paid? All right, so this is a really loose wig. You definitely would need to use these clips as well as tighten the band to keep this wig on. But I don't really wanna do that because I'm lazy and I'm rushing, so I don't want to pop this on. Wow, this feels so soft. You can just instantly tell the difference between a human hair wig and a synthetic. This is the first human hair wig I've ever had. I've had Remy blend hair extensions, which is human hair and synthetic, like a blend, and they felt soft, but this is, this is amazing. This is softer than my hair. So what I would do is I'd put a little curler in it and I'd keep it like that. Oh, human. I know it's all cleaned and stuff, but it's still someone's hair. But no, I, this is so soft. I cannot believe how soft it is. And it's got all my baby hairs there. That's amazing. That looks so great, that part in. I just need to glue it down, concealer and actually glue my wig cap on. That's what it looks like from behind. I'm shocked. I can't believe the price I got this for. And I was like, is it gonna be human hair? It's 100% human hair. This feels like my hair. If I had a keratin treatment, this is absolutely amazing. It doesn't suit me. Like I don't look amazing in it, but also not my style. I've just put on these long long wigs and I'm not a short haired person so I don't like prefer myself with this haircut I like having long hair but this is exactly what I wanted the wig to be I wanted it this length and I love how this is already coming out like that and I'd love to cut my hair this length but I know if I did I'd regret it and I'd want long hair back the next day 
So it's perfect that I can have this for a day, for some photos, and then just have long hair again. It's so cute. I'm gonna go as Matilda tonight now. <laughs> I love this. Amazing. I could probably go back on the ring light now because this isn't gonna look shiny, it's human hair. It does need a bit of a straighten, a little bit of styling, but it is, it's beautiful. I, I thought I could get great quality synthetic wigs off Sheen for good prices. I never thought I could get a human hair wig off Sheen for a good price. To think places sell synthetic wigs for hundreds of dollars and they're synthetic and human hair wigs for thousands of dollars and I got it for 60 bucks. All right, anyway, for my last piece, it's actually a ponytail clip-in. So I don't need a wig cap on because it's going into my normal hair. So I'll just, I'll take out my 50 bobby pins and then I'll clip it in. Also, if you notice, I did just dye my hair. It was getting a little bit too light. So I just box dyed it, I'm sorry hairdressers, to a uh, dark brown, it looks a bit black on camera, but I had to. I just realized I turned my fan back on during one of the clips whilst it was paused and I forgot to turn it off. So now it's been on for the whole video, so I might as well just leave it on, I'm very sorry. But it was hot. Anyway, this next one, I'm just going to pop my hair up in a ponytail and then maybe a bun. I'm just going to pop my hair up in a quick bun as tight as I possibly can and then I'll show you the product and tell you what it is exactly I'm gonna do. packaging it's a ponytail extension comes in a hairnet so it's that it's very curly but it's meant to be it's it reminds me very much of like an insert name here ponytail where it's just it's very bouncy it's very red in the photo on sheen it didn't look this <laughs> it didn't look this red it was more just a dark brown my hair was supposed to be a chocolatey brown it's a bit more just dark brown, black on camera. So they only had two colors available, a light brown and this, so I got this. Or maybe it was this and a black, so I got this. Probably need the black now. So it's a bit more red than I thought. If it doesn't match my hair, I reckon I'll give it to my mum because she has, she dyes her hair this color, like a dark kind of ready. So I'll see, it's got that little like crocodile clip and that to make it tighter. And then that, and then that goes over like that so that you won't see this. I assume you put your hair up in a bun and then you go like that, make sure all hair's out and then I clip it over the bun I guess. I'll try to clip it over my bun, I don't know if my bun will be too thick. That is heavy. I think the way it's positioned on my head, I've put it on, it's not a lot of support, it's just clinging onto my bun. So if I was going to wear this all day, I'd need to put it on properly. It's cute. Also this lighting, I know it's a nice ring light, but it's also nighttime. So I don't know how well you'll be able to tell the color match, but please look and tell me. So hopefully you can't see my bun. Hopefully all the hair covers it and you can't see the clip. I think I can, I can feel the clip. So I hope you can't see it, but it's nice. It's, it's a cute ponytail. When I have a ponytail, it's all the way down there. I look I look like a prince from the middle ages because it's always low and it's just sleek that it's not nice. So it's nice. This makes me a bit of like 13 going on 30. I don't know, it's just this cute little 90s ponytail. It's nice. Insert name here, the hair company extension brand would probably charge like 80 bucks for this. So well, the price I got it for was it like $10 or something. I'm really, really impressed. I reckon it looks nice, all slick back. Business at the front and then party at the back. I reckon it looks nice. It's, it's really cute. Yeah, I would rate it. Did I rate the last week? The last week was a 10 out of 10 if I didn't. I would rate this an eight out of 10. 
an 8 out of 10. Just because it loses a mark because the colour is a little ready. I just, it's a bit brave of them to assume that if you have dark hair, it's going to be reddish dark hair. I feel like you should just opt for just dark brown and then when you feel a bit fancy, have shade ranges with a bit more red and stuff. Because the only reason you'd really have like dark hair with red undertones is if you dyed it. It's shiny, but it's not, it's not fake shiny. It's just, it looks like healthy hair. So I really like it. I think it's cute. We have had great wigs in this video. Anyway, I'm going to take this off. It doesn't hurt as much now, but I'm going to take it off. And I will tell you about my thoughts and opinions on Sheen's wigs and those. Well guys, thank you so much for watching my video. All I have to say is I am absolutely shocked. I cannot believe how amazing these wigs were and I'm not even exaggerating. My st I know my, my standards were low, don't get me wrong, because it is Sheen and back in the day Sheen and Romley, they, they're, they are sketchy. People didn't know if they were legit. A lot of the time they got stuff, a lot of the time they didn't. Romwe, I've bought off a couple times. It hasn't always been a success. I haven't bought off there since. They're pretty much the same thing anyway, but Sheen has a better rep. So I normally buy from Sheen. When I say Sheen has a better rep, rep I mean for products, people get what they, as long as you're ordering things with reviews, then they get what they want. But in terms of actual reputation, Sheen's not great. It's fast fashion, it uses sweatshops. It's definitely not a great business, but you also do need to realize that lots of people can't afford expensive clothes, especially plus size people, or people that just want to buy shop sustainably. It's just, it's not always viable. For wigs, I unfortunately can't afford to spend $200 on a synthetic wig and then thousands on a human hair wig. And I do want wigs, so I want to try them. And I just, I can't afford that much money. So the fact that I can get synthetic ones for 40 bucks and then human hair ones for 60, I'm going to do that. So it's just, it's a whole, whole nother topic. The products were absolutely amazing. My expectations were low, but Sheen has also brought their A game in the recent years. And even so, I kind of figured, well, Sheen's not making these wigs, you know? They're buying them. They're buying them from other brands and putting their names on it or they're buying it from the same wholesalers that other big brands buy them for. So they're gonna be good quality wigs, they're just not under these brand names, you know what I mean? So took a chance and they were absolutely amazing, not a single complaint. They were all super realistic. I've never had wigs that shineless. I tried on some ones from Bedazzled Boutique the other day and they're hundreds of dollars wigs. They are so shiny. I'm going back on the Sheen website and refreshing the wig section daily, hoping to get more wigs because I just want to buy 50 more. I'm not going to sell any of these. I'm not going to throw them out. I'm not going to return them. I might get rid of my old wigs, honestly. The other ones I've tried in my video, I might sell them. I'm never buying from a site other than Sheen for wigs. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just, they are so cheap and they are so brilliant quality. You. You cannot go wrong. It's exactly what you want in a wig. Cheap and good quality. So I'm 100% impressed. I'm definitely going to buy from there again. Hopefully I'll have a part two for you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Okay, until next time.